It has been a rough start to the year on the stock market, to put it mildly, with world markets taking a sharp hit as the price of oil slips to lows not seen in years. But at the same time, we are also learning Canadians are carrying extremely high levels of debt. So what should we be doing? Should we be pressing that panic button? Our chief financial commentator, <laughs> Panic Loving, pa Patty, yeah, Panic, panic Patty. Love and Read. Oh my gosh, I can't believe I said that, but I'm laughing because I no. know you're not going to say to press that panic button. But you, you know, yeah. and we've talked about this before, but it's so tough. No, it's really nasty out there. This is one of the worst starts to the trading year. And you're right, people are hitting the panic button. They are selling. They are moving to the sidelines. I will tell you, we're not seeing capitulation, Bev. And that is when that last retail investor sitting on the sidelines saying, you know what, I'm out of here. Because yesterday, we had a 500-point loss on the Dow, and it then came back. The TSX was off at one point, very close to 500 points as well. And then it came back a little, still in negative territory. But there are people in there buying. But, you know, I understand where you're coming from. It's going to take some good news, but it's going to take even a lot of good news for some investors to say, OK, I can finally breathe. This has yeah. been the worst, one of the worst starts to a trading year ever. So when you're looking at your portfolio, your investments, whatever you, you, know, you mm -hmm. have, and you say, well, I didn't want to sell then because I would have taken a loss. Well, gee, I would have taken less of a loss today. Well, what should we be looking at when we look at our investments right now? Well, I can tell you, Bev, that I've sat down and I've looked at my investments because I'm, like everyone else, thinking, hmm, just how much exposure do we have in the stock market right now? And what's the quality of those investments? And you and I have talked about this before, but I'm in the camp that boring is beautiful. I want real companies that have real earnings that pay a dividend and have been increasing their dividend over time. And so I'm looking to see, are they still leaders in their industry? And Yes, the stock price, the valuation of it may in fact be down, but the dividend is paying me to wait. And so I do think if you're someone who is maybe a senior and you have too much exposure in the stock market, yeah, I might be paring that back. I may pick up some bonds. You're not getting a great return, but you're getting better than the loss you're experiencing right now in the equity market. Mm. So it's all about your time horizon, your tolerance for risk, and what sort of investments you have. And by the way, Bev, if mm. your investment advisor or planner hasn't reached out to you, you got to wonder why, because this is exactly the time when they make their money. Yeah, right, exactly. And so, well, let me ask you about, because I mentioned debt in the intro and mm -hmm. household debt to be specific as a result of that report. What do we do about debt? You know, debt is one of those things that, that can create a tremendous amount of anxiety. Borowell said that one in 10 of us are really embarrassed and ashamed of our debt. Two out of five of us are losing sleep over it. 30% say they aren't doing other things because they have that debt and 14% hide it from their spouse. These are big numbers. These are very real. And so I do think we can't control the dollar. We can't control the markets. We can't control oil. But we can control what we're spending our money on. We can shut it down. Do you know? New Year's resolutions cost us an absolute bundle. Retail Me Not says 38% of us have already fallen off. Yeah. But think about personal trainers. Think about uh, some of us decide to get a new wardrobe. Others say we're going to go on a cleanse. We spend a lot of money that we would like to spend, but that we don't need to spend. So I do think that this is a good time to say, I'm going to look at every single thing I'm spending my money on, and I'm going to try to cut it out and take some of that money and pay off not the largest debt, but the most expensive, the one with the highest interest rate, even if it's a little bit more each month, and put that credit card away today. Don't yeah. wait another day. Good advice. Put it away, Patty. Thank you so right much. Right away. Panic Patty is going <laughs> now. Panic, panic. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's never Panic Patty. That's why we love you. Have a great day, Patty. Thanks, Bev. Talk to you again.